Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover how to create a Google Analytics 4 dashboard and report for traffic that comes from social media to your website and how you can bring this report into the left navigation here under the main reporting section. Out of the box, we have a couple acquisition reports, including this acquisition overview that gives us a view of the traffic from the various channel groupings, as well as drill downs into the traffic acquisition and those specific channels, including metrics such as users, sessions, engage sessions, events, conversions, etc. While it's true you can add temporary filters for social media traffic, or you can search for social media sources, these are only temporary solutions for your reporting. That means the next time you access Google Analytics, then all of these filters and searches will go back to the default. But what we're going to create is something specifically for social media traffic. Your default out of the box left navigation in the report section probably looks something like this. We have our acquisition collections with these three reports. And whether it looks like a dashboard or an actual report, Google Analytics 4 calls them all reports. It just depends on what type of report it is. So for this overview report, Google Analytics 4 calls it an overview report. And for these other reports, GA4 calls them detail reports. Now, in order to customize an overview report, you first have to customize the detail report. And you'll see why in a moment, because the overview reports pull the cards that are created or these widgets that are created from the detail reports. So we'll first go into customizing this detail report. Make sure you have the permissions to edit and save GA assets. And an indicator of that is you'll see a writing utensil icon in the top right corner here. So we're going to go to another property and here we see this writing utensil icon that allows us to customize the report. You can go to the library section and create a new report from scratch, but since we already have the traffic acquisition detail report, we're just going to use that as our base. So we'll click on the writing utensil icon and wait for the report, the configuration section to load and we're going to add a filter for medium. We're going to choose session medium as opposed to first user medium because we want all social media traffic data from all sessions, not just the first session in which a user visited our web property. And then for dimension values, click on the drop down. You can search or just select social here. So we'll check that off. Click on OK and then click on apply in the bottom right corner here and the report will update. Then we'll change the session default channel group dimension and we'll select session source. Then that'll give us the actual social media sources of traffic. The next thing we're going to do is create a new card. But before we do that, we'll look at our dimensions and metrics because we need to make sure we have the ones we want in order to select them for the new card. So these are the dimensions that we had. You can add or remove any of these, but these look good, so we'll keep those. And for metrics, we're going to add another metric here. So at the bottom, select add metric, and we'll look for users 
in new users is the metric that we're looking for. So click on that and we can drag this up if we want to reorder them. We'll move it to the top. Click on apply in the bottom right and then select create new card in the bottom right here. For the dimensions drop down, click add dimensions and we'll select session source. Then for the metrics, we'll add new users. So here's our table, our card preview. And for the visualizations, you have different options here, but we're going to select table. And now in the top right, click on apply. And we'll see the card added in the summary cards here. We'll also add a few more summary cards to this detailed report so that they can be available when we create an overview report like this. So this overview report in this example has cards for new users by first user default channel grouping, sessions by session default channel grouping, and some other cards here. Just remember when you add more summary cards to a detailed report, you're not necessarily going to see them in the detail report. Basically, what you see is what you get. It's a WYSIWYG format. So this is what you'll actually see in the detailed report. Still, we'll create these summary cards so we can add them to the overview report later. Now what we're going to do first is add a dimension for event name. So we can create a card around events. So we'll click on apply. And as you're creating these summary cards, you can use these metrics as your base, some of these metrics that you think are important. For example, we'll use something around engagement, like engaged sessions, average engagement time, engagement rate, which is the opposite of bounce rate. Remember bounce rate is if a user visits your website, does not interact with any element on your website, does not navigate to another page and they exit. Something to consider event count for specific events. That's why we just added the event name to the dimensions and conversions and revenue. So we're going to create a new card and we'll create one for engagement rate. We'll also add a summary card for average engagement time. If there's any others you want to add, for example, event count, conversions, or revenue, you can create cards for those as well. But we'll go ahead and save this. And we'll call this social media traffic. Let's go back. Navigate to the library section under reporting, and this is where we'll see our newly created social media traffic report under the report section here. So if we scroll down, here's our social media traffic report that we just created. I've created a few more reports for summary cards that we'll use in our overview report and we'll use these reports in our social media collections as well. So these include social media traffic pages and screens, events, and conversions. And they have a similar format to the other ones that we created, but the metrics are based on the out-of-the-box reports from the left navigation. You can create a brand new report from scratch or you can use an existing report, which I like to do. So we'll go to the acquisition overview report and create a report based on this existing 
overview report. And once this load, we'll click on the writing utensil in the upper right corner. And here we can search for our summary cards. You can either search by dimension, metric, or you can search for report. So for example, we created the social media traffic. So if we look for that report name, here are the cards that were created in that detailed report. So let's include each one of these. But make sure you have the correct metrics and dimensions here. So each one of these uses the session source dimension except for the first one. So we'll make sure to change that by clicking on the drop down indicated by the arrow and we'll select session source. And then click on add cards in the top right. Since we want the focus of this overview report to be social media, we'll remove the cards we won't use, which are the ones based on channel grouping. So just click on the X's next to these cards. But we'll keep this new users by device platform category, but we'll move that to the bottom. Same with lifetime value, if you want to keep that card. And let's remove new users up above sessions by session source. Now we'll save this as a new report and we'll call it social media overview. Click on save. I have noticed some bugs around customizing these reports. So make sure your cards are ordered as you desired. We'll click on back and we'll check to make sure our overview report looks exactly as we want. And then navigate to the report section. And in the bottom left corner, click on library. And just really quickly, if you want to create the report from scratch, you can click on new report and you would choose create overview report. So then you would add the cards that you desired. But back in the library section, we're going to create a new collection. You can create a new collection based on one of the existing templates, but we're going to create something from a blank slate. So from the left column, we're going to call this collection social media. And then create a new topic, and we'll call this acquisition. Click on apply and in the right column, we'll first add an overview report. So click on the overview report tab and search for social media overview, which is what we created earlier. Then drag this over to the overview report slot, click on detail reports and we can drag social media campaigns since it still gives us the result based on our search query here we can also add social media traffic and then we'll create another topic and call it behavior Here, we'll drag over events into the detail report section and social media traffic pages and screens. We'll actually drag that above the social media traffic events. And then the last topic we'll create will be conversions. We'll scroll down and from the right column, add social media traffic conversions to the detailed report under conversions. Now click on save. 
click on the three dots for the social media collection we just created and click publish. Now in the left navigation we see a section for social media with our topics and all the reports that we added to those topics. And you can click through and see all your overview reports as well as your detailed reports. So if you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, share, comment, and we'll see you in the next episode.